there's something that I stumbled upon on my TikTok and it's something called Passport Bros. Ladies, we shall not worry about these Passport Bros because I promise you they have always existed. Okay, if you shall not worry about the Passport Bros and yes, it's true they have always existed, then why are you talking about them? But most importantly, why are you talking about them now? Is it because you are starting to feel the void? You haven't seen anything yet. You have no idea of how big that void will get. Someone who comes from one of these third world countries, that men go to pick up women, we know they're losers. We know that they go over there because they cannot get anyone in here. Well, if you are the sample of women that men have to deal with in first world countries, from where I'm seeing it, going abroad is a significant upgrade. And if these men go over there thinking that these women want to build a family with them, to be honest, they deserve to be scammed. They deserve to be finessed. Because the same way that these passport bros want these women for sex, these women want them for money. Okay, what's the difference between those women and women in the West? It is a well-known fact that women look for men who can provide, and money is the best way to get things. Do you know what a scam is? A scam will be spending money on a woman who look like you. And again, they deserve to be scammed. But again, we know they're losers. We know that they cannot get any women in here. That's why they go over there. And the same thing with the women. Because yeah, women do this too. And they get with handsome, uh, attractive men. Or more attractive than what they could have pulled here. So it's not only men. Women been doing this too. But let's not worry. Because we know that both men and women are losers. Nope. Women don't do that. If women did that too, I will bet my passport that you will be in the first plane available and on your way to find yourself a man. Look at how condescending she is. This woman has the words sexually frustrated written all over her heavily tempered face. The point of my last two videos is this. Let them go. Let them go to outside the United States and find them a bride or girlfriend or whatever they trying to find let them go and i'm rooting for those girls if you know how hard i'm rooting for those girls in those countries to <laughs> to do what the lady in my last video did like i i am rooting so hard okay quick recap she is talking about an American black man who got scammed by a Colombian woman. Listen ugly, men know the risks of going abroad. The dude was unlucky. Unfortunately things like that happen, but guess what, they are still going. They rather face criminals abroad than deal with you. That tells a lot about you. And um... Number two, right? <laughs> I have friends in those other countries that you guys want to go so badly that i would love to have the opportunity to come to the united states so we can unite okay you have friends abroad and you want them to come to the u.s why don't you send them ticket money oh wait you are broke or reunite so i would love for you guys to go go overseas as a matter of fact let me introduce you to some of the women that I know in those countries. Because I really, 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 really want y'all to help them get a green card. I really do. So go ahead. Go overseas. I am dying for you to go overseas and do that. Like, if you know how badly, I want y'all to do that. And uh, that's pretty much all I, all I gotta say. So, you are broke. And your friends are also broke. Well, I have a bad news for you 90% off Beyonce. No one is planning on bringing those women back to the U.S. I really wish international women start making videos because I want them, I want these black men to see that international women don't just go for any type of man. What? As far as being black, they, I mean, you really, really, and, and even the Caucasian ones across the, they're not just going to go for any type of black man. Wow, this is so stupid. How can I explain this? Ma'am, what makes one international is the action of going out of one's country. The men are the ones leaving their country to go meet with the women. The men have become international, and the women are local, because they are still in their own country. Man, passport bros are making these women so mad, that they are starting to lose neurons. 
you know what's kind of funny about this passport bro situation is the more you listen to them talk you realize kind of how dumb all of them are my thing is if your whole reason for oh we're gonna go to other countries and find women there we're gonna marry women from other countries most of them don't actually marry those women because for one they're just going there for sex and obviously they're convincing their bros to go there you're all gonna marry the same women no you're not but like i said if their reasoning for doing all that is because us black american women are so are too difficult we're too headstrong we weren't raised to be wise we don't know how to treat a man we're too masculine independent gold diggers all that well you know what they say the first step towards improvement is to accept your shortcomings congratulations now let me add other bad traits that you forgot to mention you have a nose ring or as i call it a pig ring which means you probably have more than three tattoos you are disagreeable and you are here talking about men's businesses not a good look why would we be mad that you can go to a country a poorer country and pay a woman say 40 to 200 dollars to do let's say have sex with you cook clean do everything you tell her to do why the fuck would we be upset or jealous about that because y'all know y'all know the shit that you're asking of these women and getting them to do for you you're getting it at a very very cheap price which is why you brag and convince all your bros to go here even if it's not the literal forty dollars they like joking about every time i see a man try to convince other man to go to a certain destination to do whatever his his, his main words are bro go here because when i went there i only had keywords i only had even if it's a couple hundred dollars they understand that what they're getting in return for what they're paying is a, a huge discount. So even if it's say like 200 bucks, the shit that they're getting out of these women over there. And frankly, if I was a woman in some of these countries that they're, the, the hot spots are, I'd be very fucking insulted and offended. And another thing, why is it that y'all say, oh, these women over here, they're much more feminine. They're much more beautiful much more traditional they were raised to be wives they know how to take care of a man and then in turn you repay those women for being better than us in every aspect they're just better women than us overall you repay them by making jokes about how cheap you can get them for does that make any sense and then you expect us to be jealous and mad and what's even funnier is, say, like, Brazil and DR aren't the only countries on this earth that have very beautiful women, feminine, traditional. There are plenty of other, pl other places, like places in the Middle East, Africa, Northern and Eastern, and probably some parts of Western Africa. But I, what I notice is, y'all don't try that shit with the women in those cultures. Because for one, those cultures are very traditional, meaning their family would expect a dowry for you to marry their women. And also... You're not going to go over there talking about, I love how feminine your women are. Here's 20, here's 40 or $100. You get stoned to fucking death. And look at how condescending she is. It is really strange how these women always think that other countries are dirt poor and that men only go in those countries for shooting. That the problem is deeper than what meet the eye. These women are projecting their insecurities and shortcomings on women in those countries. They always say that those women are poor because they themselves are probably struggling financially and are probably neck deep in debt, and they only talk about sex because that is the only thing they can offer a man. In my opinion, the reason why they never miss an opportunity to talk about the passport bros is because in their heads they strongly believe that the only thing men want is bedroom fun. And in their thoughts they are basically saying, why go outside of the country to get women while we are here, but because they are proud disrespectful turds, the only way they can express it is by clowning, insulting, and shaming. And the second reason why they are talking about it is because men are spending their money on foreign women. And last but not least, unlike in the US, in those countries, the difference is clear. You can clearly identify a working woman from a woman who is working. Those who go for fun, they have their spots, and those who go for relocation, they also have their spots. The West has become so degraded that the only difference between an adult entertainer and some women is that one do it on camera, but we all know that women in the West are strong and independent women who need no man. So why are you talking about men going their own way and doing their own thing? That's it for this video guys. 
Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and a sub would be awesome. Have a good day, and catch you on the next one.